property. You so you are on you are on the street, property. guys. They they own the property, 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 the property on that property. side of the street as well, all the way down to Brandy money. Lane and all the way down. To if you love liberty, declare your independence by signing the Shire Society Declaration at ShireSociety.com. Hey, asshole. <laughs> Wake up. Gordon McDonald, the attorney general, or should I say attorney genital, <laughs> of New Hampshire. Nice property you got. This guy came from California. Friends with Gavin Newsom. And I want to say you should go back. To California because you don't belong here in New Hampshire. You don't understand what live free or die means. Time to get out. You can take the governor with you. Yeah, we don't want anything to do with you. You have one job to secure our rights. And that whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it. Oh shit, there's somebody looking out the window. We're to call out the Attorney General, not some strange woman peeking out a window. <laughs> but if you got an Attorney General in there, we'd love to hear from him. We're all spending Thanksgiving alone, thanks to you. Our families are afraid I'm of us. Out. I'm out here with a bunch of people. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think you speak for yourself. I well, plan to I mean, dinner. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving dinner, you I, know? I plan to spend Thanksgiving with, uh, I think, a bunch of people here, actually. All right. I can't speak for them. <laughs> <laughs> I will be having Thanksgiving statement. dinner alone. Well, you're invited to join us. Well, I'm just saying my family, okay? Let me clarify. I will eat dinner with these guys, but I'm not welcome for dinner at my family's house. Uh. They're afraid of me. Because of you! We want our families back! Hmm. Well said! Yeah, speak for yourself. <laughs> so you considerate. Uh, pretty well, pretty well. I'd rather be at home. So would I. Yeah. <laughs> but this asshole keeps threatening people. True. Well, I can't speak for him one way or another. Do you hear about that? He's uh, threatening local business owners with $1,000 fines. I know the AG's office has. Given a couple thousand dollars. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I have no. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give my personal opinion on. It, but you so. do have one. I know oh, absolutely. Yeah. I have an opinion. But uh, no. So. Are you not allowed to speak your mind, or? Well, I'm working, so. I, I hold well, off that's his mind. boss. The yeah, thing true. is, we all have our own conscience. We do. And no butter your bread should, should override what our bosses tell us. If my boss tells me to do something wrong, I'm not going to do it. Because I nobody got time for that. I'm nobody, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I was just getting out of the way of the car. Candidate for governor. All right. What's your name, officer? Chris McGillicuddy. Chris McGillicuddy? Yeah, I'm with Hope Real Beauty, so... Is, does Deering have its own police department? They do. Uh, I'm not sure who's working with it. Okay. So we're just we're the closest. All right. Oh, he's got to put the mask on. Hey, he's gonna take it off. Put it on. They don't. Yeah. Not, I don't think it's scared of COVID. They don't have to wear masks. I think that's closer than six feet. <laughs> Ma'am, how's it feel to be married to, I presume you're his wife, how's it feel to be married to a man who makes a business of threatening peaceful people? How does that make you feel? Get off my property. I'm not on your property. So you are you are on the street, guys. They they own the property I'm not on, your property. on that side of the street as well, all the way down to Brandy Lane and all the way down to the, uh, the next residence is down this way on both sides right, of the road. But they don't own the street. So they do not own the street. Your husband is doing is not right. Yeah. This is tyranny. Is as soon as your husband leaves our Maybe property so alone, we're gonna have to we'll get leave you alone. You off of their property as well. Please. That's not their property, guys. It's um, There's a certain it's section of road between the road and the their property the on both sides. Public easement, sir. Yeah. Okay. If you want to arrest people, be free, but uh, yeah. it's, you're going to be wrong. Yeah, my understanding was the easement yeah, and no Hillsborough Deering went from people. center of the road to five feet back. That sounds good. Okay. Got zero intention for that. What's your name, officer? Ethan Valancourt.
Okay. There is such thing as an easement though, right? Correct, there is. Okay. And what Deering's is, I don't know. Yeah. Too bad there's not an attorney we could ask. <laughs> Tell your husband to leave people alone. Doesn't feel good, does it? We'd all rather be at home today, but he has to go around and threaten people and actually try to shut people's businesses down. That's shameful. You should be ashamed. You should have him stop. Why don't you have him come outside and talk to us? Oh, where you? Come out and play. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming out, guys. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And they're, they're trying to threaten us to not go on their current use property. That's illegal, isn't it? Oh, is that what this is? It's gotta be. There'd be no trespassing signs posted if it wasn't. Good point. Oh, good point. So, well, this you, there's telephone poles, so this is all public easement anyway. Yeah, mm -hmm. so right. in Hillsborough down the road, and I assume it's the same here, uh, the, property, uh, the property line goes from center of the road back but the public easement is center of the road, the five feet in. Five feet, okay. In Hillsborough. It, Deering has its own city council and all that, so it might well, be different. The cars are not more than five feet in, so I think we're good. Yeah. Man, four whole cruisers. Okay, so what, what is it that you guys are protesting? I'm just curious. So I don't know if you all heard we protested at the governor's house on Sunday. No. Oh, no, sir. Yeah, yeah. We had like 100 people oh, wow. out oh, okay. there, but we, we publicly announced that one. We just wanted to make a quick appearance here, so... Mm -hmm. We're going to do most of them at the governor's house, I Is think. It because of cr like COVID? Because of the crackdown. Because yeah, people uh, are getting so. their businesses ruined uh, by this, and that's yeah. not cool. Yeah. You know, people should. This is New Hampshire. It's supposed to be live for your die. Yeah. We're supposed to be able to make choices for ourselves sure. about about what kind of risk we're we're willing to take sure. in life. And you guys are making that choice right now, sure. right? Um, you don't have masks on. I don't have a mask on. We all should be free to make those choices. But business owners are not free because they got this guy the attorney general here coming into their business with his goons and threatening him, threatening these businesses. Okay. Well, this probably isn't the best place to be doing it. Seems like a great place. Where What's your you, name, where sir? Where do you suggest we do it? Are you the police chief? What's your name? I'm Captain Kavanaugh. Captain what Kavanaugh? With Deering? I don't. We don't want to harass. Those hey, those are great goggles. Thank you. Well, you know, you know that you know that Tony Fauci said that we should wear goggles. What do you guys think about that? Come on, man. You guys look like decent guys. Seriously, you smile, man. You got a great. Hey, you got a great smile, man. Seriously, hey, bro. You have a great smile. You're our friends, man. You got a better beard than me. I'm jealous. Well, you know, thank you. But you know what I mean? Hey, you're our friends. You're our neighbors. You know, I think we work together. We can actually make this place better. Sure. Right? You, you look like a guy that I can work with. Neighbors shouldn't threaten their neighbors, you know? I agree What, what if All you right. need somebody to look after your kids or you need some milk or sugar or whatever? Who's going to... Is the government going to come bring it to you? You work for them. You know that's not true. I know they do, but you know what, man? We got to stand up, right? For what's right. Right and wrong. Right? Come on, man. You look like a great guy. You got a great smile. Guys, we asked how we appeal to these people. There's a little bridge right there. There's a little bit of a bridge right there. We have to appeal to them. These order followers. They weren't as robotic as they could have been. They no, pretty, they could have They could have arrested peaceful. us. There was one guy. See you, man. Happy they know we're nonviolent. We're peaceful people. We just want our freedom. Let me be free. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Didn't he also say recently 
that once the vaccine is delivered, they're still going to yep. be requiring the masks. Distancing, still going yes. to be requiring distancing. 100%. Yeah, because, said that. because you won't know whether the vaccine worked. Yeah, so <laughs> therefore, 95 right, because it's 95% yeah, effective, you might be in the 5%. And so you got to keep doing all the same shit. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to this. Yeah, me neither. They're claiming 94% effectiveness for the Moderna vaccine, 90% for Pfizer. You know what your immune system is? 99.98% effective, according to the CDC. It's so crazy. Do you want to play Russian roulette with mRNA vaccines they've never used before, that they that they passed in a, within a year? Yeah. I don't. Let's go take this drug I invented last week. <laughs> yeah, let's not. Let's smoke some weed. Not even nobody would do that. Nobody would be crazy enough to do that. Feeling grateful. Trade your position. Feeling grateful. Feeling grateful. You feeling grateful? Feeling grateful. And I'm here with my friends with no mask and we're enjoying yep. company and we're not afraid of each other. Not afraid of anybody. It's it's a beautiful thing. Oh, love it. Yeah. Love you, man. Love You're a beautiful you, soul. All right. You guys are all beautiful. Nobody. Ian. Yeah. Mr. Penguin. I never got your name actually. What's your name? L. L? Okay, let's keep it that way. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I appreciate you guys more Thank than you, you more than you could ever know. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody! Be free! We'd like to invite you to visit Freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com. I should be in Keene, New Hampshire with the Free Staters.